Hey, it's Jo for Halo Magpie and I thought I'd give you a little flip through of my mini album that I've made using the Photoplay Paper Collection Wicker Lane. I've also added some things from Rosie's Studio, these little tassels which are beautiful and they go really nicely with the colours. And also this camera die cut, um, I'll just find it in my collection. Um, it's, it's this, it's a nice neat little size, it's lovely die cuts. Uh, dies rather. Um, I've got a little collection going. I haven't used all of them yet. But, um, so I've got that one. That's the mini camera. And I've got a mini coffee cup because I love my coffee. Um, and this one has got snowflakes that I was going to use at Christmas on the cards and didn't get around to it. I ended up doing something more simple. Um, right, let's give you a little look through here. So I've based this um, album on family photos from 2021. So the year after COVID hit and we were able to have a little bit more freedom with meeting up with family and all of that. So this is the front cover. I have cut the uh, camera from white cardstock and added two layers of the circle there. I cut multiple cameras um, and I backed it with some paper from the collection, which... Um, is this paper here it is called moments and on the other side it's got all these beautiful cameras and that's what gave me the idea for the mini album um there's a couple of little um stickers on here that i've just popped up on foam pads um and another sentiment there it's not what we have in life but who we have that matters and also throughout the album i've used um these labels, now these are free from the Halo Magpie store and they're printable labels in gorgeous colours. Um, so I downloaded that, printed it out and uh, used a few in this album. Plenty left over for other projects now as well. So going through, I can't remember all the names of the papers that I've used, but in the blog post, it's got all of those there. Um, so I've use papers and smooth white cardstock and die cuts from the collection and this camera is absolutely gorgeous it's my, one of my favorite things in the collection um i raised that on foam pads just to give it a little bit of dimension and throughout this i've created some pockets just simply cut uh the four by four papers or rather that it's coming i've used 12 by 12 sheets um and i've cut it down to four by four for the album and I've used little spare bits on the other sides. And this is one of the little um, die cut pieces, I think. I don't think that's a sticker. Yeah, it's a die cut piece from the pack, which I do have a few pieces left from. So I've just got extra photos that I have tucked in. And uh, I'll just give you a little flip through. I've cut some of the little Busty cut some of the cameras from that paper that I showed you. Um, and these are some stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. There's another one of the labels from Halo Magpie. And I've used my selfie, my Canon selfie, to print out the photos and I've cut them. So I've done it two photos on a four by six sheet and I've just trimmed it longer so it looks like Polaroid camera pictures, um, but they're not, they're just from the selfie. There's another of the um, die-cut cameras so all these pieces are separate including the heart in the middle um, and you'll see I've used some hearts throughout the album another one of the labels and uh, some more pictures in another little pocket and these are from the sticker sheet big brother little brother and there's one of the hearts from the cameras This is from the sticker sheet and I have uh, raised that on foam pads. Another pocket there. Love this paper, so pretty. And that's that. 
And the front and back covers, I've used a piece of pattern paper both side, sides and um, a piece of the cardstock in the middle and just glued it together. Use the red line tape that's available in the shop um, around the edges just to make it nice and neat. And um, yeah, that's it. The book rings were from my stash. Um, there were some in there from uh, Omid Marshall, I think is the ones that, uh, from American Cross, but I see that they've just sold out in the sale. <laughs> but you can get hold of those quite easily. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Really love the tassels. So cute. You get eight in that pack from Rosie's Studio and the beautiful colours. So I've just added four on here, but that's a bit extravagant, really. <laughs> um, so also from that collection, I thought I'd just quickly show you uh, the three layouts that I made. Two of these are, no, actually this one is on, oh, let me zoom out. This one is on the blog. Uh, so this is the die cut from Amelia and I've backfilled that with that beautiful paper. <laughs> so perhaps it was still on there. Um, so all the instructions for how I made this and the, all the details of the papers, that's all in the blog post. Uh, the first one that I did for March. And then we had um, our cyber crop. And so this was my colour theme challenge. Uh, nice and bright. Um, and so I use, again, the collection because the colours were perfect for that. And this photo of this box, this wine box that we had for my son's birthday from his grandparents in Northern Ireland filled with Tato crisps and the colours were just perfect. So that was that one. And then um, this is the challenge uh, layout that I've made for the April challenge that I've set. And um, you've got a list of 10 items and you can use... A minimum of five from the list and then you need to upload your um, layouts to the album and so I have used let me try and remember what I wrote uh, there's flowers there's hearts there's texture paste uh, there's metallic elements one photo uh, yeah more metallic elements I think that's it um, but yeah have a look in the album on the um, Facebook group the chat and inspiration Facebook group and uh, yeah, enter and you can win a thousand magpie points and anyone who enters during the month can get 10% off uh, the shop purchase any shop purchases in um, in May thanks ever so much for coming and watching and um, yeah go check out photo play paper might surprise you thanks <laughs>